Hokey dokey. In this problem, they give us a model equation at the top. They give us a chart of different uh, constant values with sample 1, 2, and 3. And the goal is to first solve for k using sample 3. So they say use sample 3 to solve for k. So we're first focused on these values here. We're going to plug them into this equation to solve for k. Once we have k, we will test out that k value with the equation with sample 1's values. See if everything is consistent. And then we'll do the same thing for sample 2. So first step is solving for k. We're going to plug in everything we know into the equation. So z is equal to 36.5. k, we do not know. W is 16, so the equation has W squared, so we will have 16 squared. M times P from sample 3 will be 3 times 7, respectively. All right, so I would recommend going ahead and calculating this expression in the parentheses. Let's find some Desmos and get to work here. We have 16 squared divided by 3 times 7. So we get about 12.19. So we have 36.57 equals 12.19k. To get k by itself, we will, of course, divide by 12.19. So that's 36.57 divided by 12.19. Nine, and that gives us exactly three. That's pretty nice. It's hopefully a good sign that we're on the right track just because it gave us a nice integer value. So we have k is three, so now we can start with either sample one or two. I'll just start with one, and we're going to plug in everything we know and just see if it's consistent. So we know that z is 31.93. We now know that k is three. And then using sample one's values, we're going to plug them into the equation. So w squared would be seven squared. M times p would be 19 times four. So really, we're just checking that this right side, once we calculate it, is actually equal to 31.93. So let's break out Desmos, three times seven squared, all divided by 19 times four. And that gives us about 1.93. 1.93 is not equal. Whoa. All right. Sorry about that. 1.93 is not equal to 31.93. So that, of course, cannot be correct. Let me just double check, make sure I did not miss anything. I think we are safe to say that sample one is not fitting the model. So sample one is off the table. So we need to check sample two and then we'll be done. So sample two starts with a Z value of 26.03 and our K value is still three. W from sample two is one. So we have one squared over M times P, which would be six times 15. And we calculate the right side just to make sure that it matches the left side. So 3 times 1 squared, all divided by 6 times 15. And that gives us about 0 0.03. So, unfortunately, 26.03 is not equal to 0.03. So, it looks like neither sample 1 nor sample 2 fit the model. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. If you'd like to see another example worked out, feel free to check out the second example.